Welcome back to another walk around and test drive video here at Coyote Classics. Um, new to the lot is this 1965 Mustang Coupe, beautifully restored car, four speed manual transmission and done in a beautiful vintage burgundy metallic. Yeah, Dalton, this was the original color on this car. Uh, factory Palomino interior, vintage burgundy exterior. Was a C-code car, so it was not a factory GT. But the restorer of this beautiful Mustang chose to go ahead and make it a GT tribute with the GT exhaust, fog lights, emblems, stripe. And uh, this car is just a fantastic looking car. We got the idle turn just a little low. We got, oh yeah, there we go. Right there, so just a little Simple enough. And you can see they kind of adjusted, they put a little rubber piece there so that doesn't, uh, doesn't scratch any of the paint. Absolutely fantastic paint job on this car. Um, done a few years ago and we have a full uh, documentation, all the pictures of the restoration of this car, completely tore apart, motor tranny out of it, everything. So very, very nice quality car from bumper to bumper. Firewall paint is nice and her fender paint is in excellent shape as well. Radiator, I mean, when they did this, they went ahead and did everything correct. I mean, day code kind of correct here. Uh, late 64, early 65 build with that uh, radiator hose. Alternator, motor's all been rebuilt. Four barrel, really sharp car. Yeah, it is. And I didn't even realize until we pulled out here in the sun how much beautiful metallic is in that. Really nice gaps, front to back. The chrome has all been restored. Got the horse and corral, fog lights. Like you said, if you just gotta really walk around it and see how that glistens, huh? The hood lines up good. I really like the Palomino interior with this color. I think it's probably pretty much standard when you got the vintage burgundy, you got the Palomino. Style steel rims, nice. Uh, stance on this one too and a nice set of BFG raised white letter tires. Looks like they went with a 21570 so it's got that nice taller stance. Really quiet, nice running idle as well. This car is another one that really impressed me when I got behind the wheel of this little Mustang. Uh, the four speed shifted great, had plenty of power. There's a little chip here that's been touched up. Just a little bit right there. Um, other than that, the bottom of the door is an excellent shade. Oh, would you mind to go ahead and give it a little gas for us? Beautiful GT dual exhaust. Turn it out nicely, a little moisture in there from setting the showroom. Um, another thing is you can always really tell the quality of the restoration when they go ahead and put the, you know, everything was done here, even the license plate uh, holders and a little sticker in there as well, GT gas cap. As we look up and down the sides of this Mustang, super nice car. Even the pinch weld and stuff on the bottom was painted nicely. Back glass is original. Um, you can tell it's got some micro scratches and stuff like that in the back glass. Um, that has not been replaced. As far as our door handles have been replaced, doors open and shut really nicely. And uh, you'll see by the restoration pictures that we have as well, I mean, just the paint job, um, the paint in the door jams is absolutely as nice as the paint on the outside of the car. And most people don't go to that kind of effort to do that. The um, bottom of the door is great. Again, paint shine, it still looks wet in the door jams. Interior is beautiful. It's got the full council, factory four speed. Dash pad, top of the dash paint is gorgeous. Headliner's nice. Steering wheel has been replaced, it looks like. There's not a crack in that. The steering column's nice. Um, still has the, uh, the original 65, the early 65 dash in it. Too bad the original radio don't work, but at least it's there. There again, inside the ashtray. flash drive here, I if that's for the pictures of the restoration possible. Heater fan works. Console's in great shape, dyed nicely to match. Seat backs, I mean, it, you're not gonna get much more of a, a more beautiful interior. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I do 
really like this color combination. You see so many red ones or blue ones or black ones. We cool. just had a convertible in the same color combination, but this quality of the car, of this restoration is just you know, way nicer. Um, it's got a tiny little paint imperfection right here. But as we look up and down the sides, it's nice and straight. All new chrome. And on the tail lights, new chrome bumper. Gas caps all new. Trunk lid fits well. Tiny little touch up right here, very small. Plenty of clearance here. Um, we didn't go too wide at all. There's a lot of clearance in the wheel wells. All the way along the bottom, I mean, these Mustangs are, you know, tended have a tendency to have little bubbles or blisters along the door and stuff. This one's in great shape that way. Both corners of the doors are in fantastic shape. Here's a good look at the uh, fender, uh, the cowl tag. And the clutch pedals, all that kind of stuff was properly restored as well. That all looks nice and was painted well. Got the nice floor mats. Um, no wear really on the driver's seat going in or out. The gas gauge works. Flavors work. And they shut off. Off. That's crazy. <laughs> Don't have a problem with that lately. Temperature gauge is coming up too. It's got 92,829 miles, probably actual miles. Hard to say though when a car's been restored. Talked about the horn working, the heater, and everything works with the radio in this car. Now with these Mustangs, a lot of them don't have power steering because they're a little car and they've got a big steering wheel. Mm -hmm. and this one doesn't, and it's, it's, but I think as far as the gearbox and all that kind of stuff is all new. I mean, it's super tight and nice. Yeah, it steers, it's really steers easy too. Yeah, really. And we'll kind of go, that way you can kind of show, you can kind of show you. This car for a little Mustang hauls. Yeah, it does. I was impressed the first time I drove it. Now it does have drum brakes and they stop great. Nice and straight. And the brake pedal is way up top on. So you got a good master cylinder. It had a really nice idle the whole time it was sitting there running and it's got a great idle here at the stop sign. I mean this car's really ready to jump in and go. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. We haven't had too many Mustang, you know, coupes lately. Fucking hard to find. I mean you know there's a lot of you can find a lot of coupes but a lot of the guys want 15 to 22 25 grand and they're, they're, they're projects yeah. they're, they're running driving cars but they're just just tacky yeah. as hell yeah so they would need 30 grand to work yeah you know? well and once you have you start with a tacky car like that it's hard to make a nice car out of them yeah it is where do you start and stop on a restoration Yeah, it does. It's a pretty fast car. For a little Mustang coupe, I mean, a lot of fastbacks that don't go this fast, I'll tell you that. Yeah, this fast little car. Speedometer works good, it's not yeah. passing around. And here's another thing. So, we're talking no power steering, going down the road, 60 mile an hour, perfect. We're going to sink her down to the third gear, set you back in the seat, but 70 mile an hour. Downshift again. Fantastic build on this Mustang. That is. Not only is it a beautiful color, um, being an original color like this, metallic paint, car drives just as nice as it was. Absolutely. Yeah, check this one out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Very well restored Mustang.